Hello and welcome to this virtual production vlog. Today I'm just messing around with the Vive Tracker. This is the first time I've actually got the Vive Tracker to work. I have a couple notes about that. And it's gonna be a short vlog, but I just wanted to shoot a little bit of virtual camera and I'm just gonna have a couple long takes where you can see me operating and see the resulting footage. Okay, like I said before, I've been using the Vive controller, but the tracker is really a lot easier to level. It uh, has a little quarter 20 at the bottom, so you can level it really easy. That's really important. It's a much, much lighter. So uh, I went to install this, and I couldn't get it to pair, and I was like, what is going on? So I read the actual manual. I uh, recommend doing that. And in the Vive Tracker box actually comes a dongle. I know it's 2020 and there's like dongles. I think it's actually like a receiver of some sort. It's this little... Uh, black thing, I'll show it to you, and it comes with a little insert, and when I first saw it, I thought it was just a USB charger, because it comes with a ton of USB chargers, uh, so I kind of just like left it in the bag and kind of threw it on my couch or my table with a bunch of other bags, uh, because I started using the controllers, it wasn't an issue until today, I was like, okay, I really want to get the, the tracker working, see how this is going, and uh, it turns out you need the dongle if you have two Vive controllers, two Vive controllers, and this, you have to have the dongle plugged in. Did not realize that, and I completely thought that I lost it. I posted on Twitter that I, I lost the dongle because I left it in the box. But after cleaning up my uh, studio a little bit, I actually found it. So, moral of the story, when you buy the Vive Tracker, take everything out and save the little dongle, USB dongle. You need that for this to actually work. Uh, once that's up and running, uh, it's the same as connecting to it like you would a controller in Unreal Engine. And uh, today I just wanted to, to check how the latency was, like how fast can I move this? Uh, how's my new base station coverage? And it turns out it's great. Now, the one thing I wanna say is that you can, you can really whip this thing. Like when I'm sitting in the middle of my volume, I have four sensors looking at this thing. So it, it knows where it is. And I don't have any of that jitter. When I put it down, it just sits there for now. So it's pretty good. That's under this lighting. If I turn movie lights on, things can get a little bit hairier, but uh, in general, I have like n very little latency. It's super fast. You can imagine this thing was designed for like video games, like Beat Saber type things, where like you have to have a pretty good latency. I think it's a 90 hertz, something like that. And uh, so I'm just gonna do a couple handheld takes. Uh, this scene is not Cinetracer. I just went on the marketplace and got a scene from uh, Brushify from Joe Garth. Shout out! And I downloaded a Soldier, and I wanted to make kind of like a Overcast War looking scene and just test a little bit of the handheld. So I'm gonna do some takes that are just walking around, um, some fast pans, some slow pans. And the one thing I wanna caveat is that um, my computer, when I watch it, cause that's my viewfinder, I actually don't really wanna put a viewfinder here. It's much easier to just look at the monitor. That's fine for me and it's lighter weight and less gear. Um, when I look at the monitor, it's running back like at 60 frames per second, uh, maybe faster, but my monitor is 4K. So when I screen record it, there's a little bit of delay from OBS. So it doesn't really do justice to how smooth and nice it is. Uh, it's really like real time, like interactive, like a video game would be. But when I screen record it at 4K, even when I bring the settings down to, I think, Epic, I'm running a 2080 Ti, I'm running the scene on Epic. Uh, it's still a lot for the computer to do all of this at once and screen capture it. So I think ideally, um, I haven't figured out how to do outputs yet from the Blackmagic card, but you can output through SDI. And I think ideally I would output through the SDI and record it to a separate recorder to give some processing power back to the main computer. But I just want to say that like when you have the Vive Tracker four stations up, uh, it's super fast. Like you, you, don't, you don't feel the latency. You can whip it around and do stuff, but the footage doesn't exactly represent that 100%. So uh, let's check out some handheld takes here.
cool. So that wraps it up for this vlog. Like I said, it's really short. Uh, I spent the whole day just getting the uh, sensors and PlayStation and Steam VR like calibrated. I changed some stuff around. It took me a while to figure out that you need the dongle for this <laughs> to, to connect and to find it. I actually ordered another one on Amazon, so I'll have two now, I guess. Um, but I am really happy with this little tracker and uh, doing virtual camera with it. Uh, next, I'll put it back on my C300 and eventually, hopefully, a Blackmagic Ursa uh, G2. And we can do, uh, I'm going to just call it Simulcam. We're going to be doing Simulcam with it and see how the latency is there. Uh, the last demo I did wasn't the best, but there, you know, I think a lot of my trackers were being occluded. There were lights on. There's a lot of things to get a perfect track in here. Um, there is some glass. There are some windows. There's no mirrors or anything. Things like that can throw off the trackers. But now that I have four, I think it's it's really solid. Uh, so that'll be in one of the future videos. And uh, just continuing to, to get this set up. And I designed a couple Xbox controls to be able to move the kind of like virtual... Uh, station around so you can like you know move around and operate and once I get that into a nice design then I'll incorporate that into Cinetracer uh, and then if you have all of this equipment it should uh, work out fine so that's it and I'll see you guys on the next one